Okay, so here we're going to be talking tonight, as we mentioned, best practices for sleep and inspired therapy. And Dr. Pfeiffer mentioned sleep apnea. So Dr. Shade is here along with Dr. Brittany Weber. Uh, Dr. Shade, let me ask you, so does being overweight really increase your chances to have sleep apnea? It does. It's one of the major factors. Um, probably 70% of patients with sleep apnea are overweight. And certainly by losing weight, you can decrease your chance of developing this disorder or you can actually cure it in some respect. What people don't understand, the reason people seek help is because they never get that REM sleep. So they're basically tired throughout their day-to-day -day life because of sleep apnea and what it does to them during when the time they should be sleeping, right? That's right. It's not just the REM sleep. It's also some of the deeper stages you need to cycle through. So when you're waking up a lot of times because you're having obstructive events, you have sleep apnea, you're not getting any of those cycles that you need. All right, we're going to come back. One more for Dr. Weber next.